Hey there everyone, PK Gam here, bringing you more minigame fun. This is Monkey Billiards. I love pool. You got a choice of games here. I don't think I'm going to show them all off. Uh, uh, but I'm going to do 8-Ball because it'll be the longest game of the bunch. Um, when you play, uh, I'll just pick a different character for the computer. And uh, for the computer level, if you choose 5, you have to be really precise to win. Um, but I'll choose four, just because I haven't played for a while. A number of sets, I'm gonna go down to one, just because I want to show off the game. And I don't need advice, but I'm gonna leave it on just to show you what it looks like. And, uh, you want to get as close to the cushion on your side, or I should say the bumper or rail to your side, and the player who gets closest can start the game as it says there, and I think the best speed is like around here, if I'm not mistaken. I could be wrong. I think I have a little too much speed there, and I'm gonna bounce out. No, this is gonna be pretty good. So you, I guess you want something like that. Woo! The monkey dance! And now choose wherever you want to place a cue ball like that. And I'm going to press the E button right there, which will allow me to set my shot. And then you'll see the power meter up there. Obviously, the closer to the red side it is, the more power you'll have. And then you'll see a spin meter right there. See at the very top of the screen? The camera slightly cuts it off because I have to cut off part of the screen to make sure it gets the whole thing in the frame. But I'm going to put forward spin on it. And uh, just to make sure I can get as much power off this break as I possibly can. And I got a, I got a solid in. And a stripe. So does that mean I can choose? I forgot the rules of this particular 8-ball game. Um, uh, yeah, the table's still open at right now. I guess I guess you can't choose your ball off uh, just off the break offhand. And uh, the easiest way that I found that you can aim in this game is not to like visualize your shot like this, but to like turn the camera around and then visualize where you want to hit the ball. Like I'm gonna do this combination shot: the three ball into the 15 ball, and the 15 ball is gonna go in the corner. So I'm gonna put that that ball like about there and visualize it and hit the shot in like that. And that should give me stripes, if I'm not mistaken, because the table is still open. Yep. So now I'll be able to pretty much run the table, or at least I hope. I really hope I can, because that would be pretty awesome, I would have to say, if I could run the table. I used to be pretty dang good at monkey pool. I'm actually pretty good at pool in general. I'm, I'm the kind of person who can actually run out the table, like break and run out, even in this game and actually in real life. Uh, I really love billiard kind of games. Uh, we actually have our own pool table too, so that's pretty cool to mess around with. Uh, make your own trick shots, if you will, too. That's also pretty fun to do. Um, I'm going to try and get this 14 ball in the corner there. That is the green striped one. And I gotta say this right now, this, this game plays way better than Yahoo Pool ever has. Oh no no, don't scratch, no! Now he gets ball in hand, and he is free to run the table all he wants to. Wait, why the heck is she bouncing it off the rail? Oh right, that's right. Um, Depending on which character is against you, it'll change your play style. Like, Mimi here prefers to bounce the, bounce the cue ball off a rail for some reason. I don't know why, but she just does for every single shot. Um... Gangan, -gan, if you play with him, he has, or he always hits at maximum power. I forgot how Baby plays. Um, I, I plays balanced, but I forgot how Baby plays. Maybe I should have played with... Uh, I, didn't, I didn't remember at the time that each character played with their own attributes if there was, if there was a computer playing. Uh, I just want to take a look around the table to plan my shot out. And, well, let's just go... Maybe I should play all the games of pool just for the heck of it. Like, just to show you how to play each of these games if you don't understand billiard games. And dang it, I forgot to put spin on the ball! Because I knew that was going to make me scratch. Just by the angle I was hitting the ball. Dang it! Curse you, Super Monkey Ball 2! Curse you with a thousand curses! So, okay, let's just take a breather here, just relax, calm it down. Um, if you have to, it's very easy to angle your shot just by bouncing off a rail. So that, that may be your only option in some cases. Like, I would like to put this ball into the side pocket if I possibly can. I'm going to need a lot of power on this because I'm going to be cutting this ball really thin. I think it's going to make it. It made it. Awesome. And that means the table is open for me to hit the eight ball into the corner pocket up there. Um, I'm going to be angling just like so. 
Oh, yeah. I don't want to bounce it off the rail. I'm not. I'm not Mimi here, people. Uh, uh, okay, let's do it like that, and I'm gonna call it right in the corner like that. You can choose which pocket you want just by moving the control stick and hit it in. Yeah! Take that, you sob! And in case you don't realize, there's things inside the balls. There's other monkeys inside the normal... Oh, dang you, pelvic thrust! Thank God there was a banana in the way. I might have scarred people with that if there wasn't a banana in the way. Alrighty, I won. Yeah, let's let's go through the other modes for the heck of it. So let's go back. I'm going to play one round of them. Uh, one round of each of these. Rotation. Um, this is, you have to hit the balls in order, like... 1 to 15. Well, now let's use Baby as the computer character. And one set. There we go. Let's go! And here comes the uh, lag. And uh, I think Baby hit that way too hard. Yep. I'm going to get really close to the rail on this one. That's almost perfect. Yeah. That's actually how uh, you choose who goes first in real pool, if you didn't know that. And here we go! Break, Baby, break! And I got, by the way, you can hit other balls in different order, but you but you just have to hit the lowest number ball first. That's all there is to it. So I'm going to hit the one ball in the side pocket here, and the two balls going up in the corner there. And then the four ball is behind all those other balls there. I think what I'm going to try and do is try and get my cue ball over to that side by hitting it with enough power. That, that's that's the key to playing any kind of billiard game is to plan out your shots for the next one And I really sucked at that. I had too much power on that and I got myself behind the seven ball um, How will I hit the four ball? Oh no! Oh no! Uh, can I like angle it around and then do like right spin perhaps? I don't know probably not. No, that failed Foul! That's gonna be a foul. I didn't even hit a single ball. Holy crap. Oh well, I couldn't. I didn't have a clear shot at the four ball anyway. So now it's got ball. I mean, the computer's got ball in hand, which it of course will use to completely own me, or at least it will try to do it. And uh, oh, it's gonna be right pressed up against the five ball. That is gonna be hard to hit it. Oh, it actually was able to hit it in. Awesome. <laughs> I didn't expect it to be able to hit it in so easily when it was so close to that, but that's okay. It's gonna do a combination shot there. It failed. Um, I'm pretty sure if you get the 15 ball in on a combination shot, you'll win, if I'm not mistaken. I could be wrong, though. Uh, it's kind of like 9 ball in that regard. I I'll show you 9 ball later. Uh, 9 ball is really similar to this in a way. Uh, very, really similar to rotation. And 7 and 12 ball is lined up very nicely into the corner there. So I'm just going to combination shot it right into the corner like that. And I might have to bank to hit the seven ball in the corner. I'm not sure. No, this will be fine. The seven ball is there. Is the eight ball? Yeah, the eight ball is already in. So I got a plan for the nine ball, which is right, which is gonna be right next to me uh, when I hit the shot in. So this will be no problem whatsoever. Uh, getting a good angle at the nine ball. So now that I got a clear shot at the nine ball, oh wait, maybe I don't. Those three balls are in the way. Dang it! Curse you! Wait, wait, wait. I got a shot. I got a shot. I can hit it right into the corner like that. And what's the next ball? Next ball is ten. I think if I hit it with enough power, I can get, I can hit the cue ball three rails around table and get it near the ten ball. So I, I'll hit it like there. One, two, three bounce rail, and it's behind the ten ball now. So, once I hit the 10 ball in, I'll, have, I'll do it a shot uh, with the 11 ball into the 14 ball combination shot. And there we go. And then I should be able to run out the rest of the table from there. Because when I hit the 11 ball into the 14 ball, the cue ball is going to break these two balls apart. Leaving me with a completely open table to pretty much own the computer. So let's angle this just right like this. That should do it, and give it enough power to spread the balls out, and there we go. And only three more balls to go, 11, then the 13, and then the 15. What? I won? Wait, what? Oh, wait, never mind. I, I just remembered. Um, 
each ball has its own point value. It's equal to the number that's on the ball, and the most points win. Yeah, I forgot about that. So you don't have to hit all the balls in, you just have to get the most points. So aim for the biggest balls by hitting the lowest balls into the biggest balls as soon as you possibly can. Um, uh, now I remember the rules of rotation. Oh, I'm being silly. Um, let's go to Japan 9-ball. And, or I should say Japanese 9-ball. Uh, ooh, oh, it's, it's a 4-player game, really? So Mimi, Baby, Ganga, like that, and there we go. Um, I forgot how this one is played, actually. Are we going to be lagging for the... No, we're not going to be lagging for the start. Well, whatever. So, let's just break them up, and holy crap, I got three balls in on the break. That's pretty rare, actually. Uh, I've gotten like five balls on the break before, but even so, three balls is pretty rare. I don't really have a clear shot at the one ball. So, what I'm going to be doing is... No, I, I do have a clear shot. I can bank it into the side pocket off to this side here, like that, and this should make the cue ball go down table, and automatically oh shoot that actually missed come on man and what i wanted to do was get down table near the three ball and basically try and run out the table oh i see how this is played um when you get a ball in you get points and the opponents lose points if you do it like a trick shot of sorts like a combination shot or something or get multiple balls in at once or at least i at least i think that's what i remember at least um, since the computers are evidently, they're, they're pretty, since they're at level 4, they're pretty much going to play this out. I'm probably not going to get another turn. Um, level 5 will pretty much run the table. Whoa, that, that was a nice shot there. Four ball into the side pocket there. That was a really tight angle. I wouldn't even play that shot in real life if I was aiming for it. Because that, that is a, I mean, the, the corners on those side pockets are really, really sharp. So it bounces out pretty much any ball that does, that, uh, doesn't get inside them, and look at that, that's a perfect shot, six is going straight into the corner, and she is easily going to be able to run off the table, um, I guess streaks are also, I mean streaks also give you points perhaps, and take away points from your opponents, yeah that's what it's looking like, and one more ball, looks like this one's going right in, and Mimi just ran the table, nice job Mimi, <laughs> I only got one turn. Oh, well, that's pool for you. As I said before, I'm known for running out the table on people, so I, I am not a stranger to that whatsoever. See that her pocket ratio is 100%. And since I only had two shots, I got 50%. Um, one more game to go, and that's nine ball. This was the game that I was thinking of that was like um, rotation, like um, US nine ball here. Uh, you just have to hit the balls in order. If you hit them in... I think Baby's just as balanced as I.I., by the way. I forgot to mention that. If you hit them in at um, a different order, like if you hit... You, the object is you're supposed to hit... Oh, shoot, I just messed up my power there. You have to hit... Um, you have to hit the lowest number ball first. Let's just say that. Then you can use that lowest number ball... I mean, you can do anything after that. All you have to do is hit the lowest number ball first. You can even... Com combination shot the lowest number ball into the, the nine ball to win the game. The object is to get the nine ball in, and that's about it. I, I, I'm really overcomplicating things, and that cactus has a face on it. What the heck? This is not Mario, people. This is Monkey Ball. Okay, let's, let's just go for the two ball here and just not question why a cactus has a face. Let's see what the three ball is. The three ball is right there, so I'm going to have to hit it with just about the right amount of power so I don't use too much of it. Because I, I'm going to try and clean out this game on my first turn by sweeping them, not giving the computer a turn. And let's just try and get this combination 3 ball into 9 ball into the corner. Here we go. This will be the game if I get this. Max power! Oh! Oh, no, 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 no! Oh, it's not going to have enough power! Crapper zappers! The computer is going to beat me now because uh, he's just going to do a combination shot and that'll be it. I just set him right up for that. Unless he scratches, but that ain't gonna happen at this angle. Well, and that, that about does it for this part. Hope you enjoy. Let's do some more mini games in the next part. Toodalooness! Don't cheer for him. Cheer for PK Gam. Ugh.